Hello everyone, my name is Mary Matheson and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna be going to the dentist. So if you haven't done so already, I'd really encourage you to subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so you're notified on a weekly basis every time I post a new video. And if you do enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will now see you inside. Yeah, I just filled out all the forms and I got in even a few minutes early. It was so, so fast. I think every other time I've ever gotten x-rays here, it's been in the other room. Yeah. That's fine, just stay for a minute. I'm gonna take a quick look first. I'm gonna pop this in. And just put it together nice and tight with your teeth. Open a little bit. Here, give me a break for a second. <laughs> Again, you were so close. <laughs> nice and tight. A little tighter. I know you can. Yeah, sorry. No, that's okay. This happens. Feels like you I'm gonna gag. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, go. So if you think about your good a gag, wiggle your toes, breathe through your nose. All right. Now you're doing great. And what I want you to do is squeeze a little tighter. Don't move your tongue. Just bring your teeth together. Open. Look towards me one more time. <laughs> Does it feel like it's hitting the bottom of your mouth? Yeah, it's hitting like the, um, uh, like kind of the... The tori? Kind of, yeah. Called? Yeah. Put together slowly. Yeah, perfect. Okay, open. Oh, that felt way better. Yeah, before, I think it was hitting like like the gum at the very bottom closest to my teeth and yeah. it was stopping it. Okay. There we go. So there's been no issues with the teeth, right? Ah, uh, no. No? So where did you see that or feel that you have that space? Uh, was it over there? Yeah, Is this tooth, anything? I think. I think that I could, I could just... Now, did you ever have braces? No. No, you didn't? I think you're looking good in there. So how many vlogs are you posting a day or a week? Uh, like, I, I'm kind of just doing it as I do, but like one yeah. or two a week. Yeah? Oh, that's yeah. actually pretty good. But what I'm, what I'm looking at right now is, so these are the borders of the teeth. You can see how it looks back there and the butt there? Yeah. So okay. It's healthy looks underneath the gum. Um, but that's what I'm working away at, so that might be okay. tender. Okay. Trying to look for me again. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I keep gravitating to that, and it seems so intense. No, I'm kind of impressed if you want us to go out the gun Like, most people who leave favorite place. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. And I was like, whatever, I'm trying to do everything. So, I did a ear, nose, throat appointment and vlogged it, and yeah. that was like. It's nothing like I would have expected. I never went to one before. Oh, yeah. The ENT had a TV yeah. and it showed him like going in my ear canal and cleaning it out. And it was so disgusting. And did so you get I vlogged it, but I did this. I pretty much closed my eyes and looked over oh, and this is my mouth. This is not inside of my <laughs> ear canal. Ugh. Oh, okay. So disgusting. Alright. Now, is Mint okay for the polish? Yep. I feel like he didn't scrape my teeth as much as I normally get on, which is so nice. Explained. What we're looking for is these ones let us check out your bone levels. So if you look here, this kind of line that goes across the teeth, this is your bone level that holds your teeth in your mouth. Okay. So as we age and whatnot, bones can recede, and even with gum disease, periodontal disease, um, you can get that bone loss. So that's what we're checking out. And then we're also checking for, like I said, those little chunks of healthulus these calculus pieces, it tells me that they're pretty big. If I can see them on an x-ray, they're pretty big. Kind of the location of them, it's in between the teeth. Yeah. So to kind of prevent that, the biggest thing is flossing. As for cavities, I'm not seeing any. <laughs> Things are looking good. So you are due for a checkup with the doctor. Comb my hair <laughs> Luckily, I won't throw your face out there. <laughs> All righty, well, let's, let's take a peek in there. Well, she did mention actually there was one spot that feels like there's a bit of a gap now. 
little bit of space, she finds that her floss just doesn't kind of catch the way it used to. There's a bit of a gap there, but I suspect that's probably been there for forever and ever. Mm -mm. No? Uh, in the last year, my guess is because my wisdom teeth got out. Like, I wonder if it slowly went back a little bit, but it's only been in the last year that it's had a, a noticeable gap. Wisdom teeth usually don't. We, we, we tend to give them a little more credit for doing stuff than they actually do. <laughs> they're, a good, was, they're a good scapegoat every once in a while. Even but. when I told her, I was like, well, it's my own self-diagnosis, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how accurate <laughs> it is, but... <laughs> yeah, it's not like you have kind of room to things to move around. All I see is a bit of a space between mm -hmm. the canine. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the only one where the floss actually goes through now without having like any... Without, without a snap. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. oh, I see what you mean. Those... There's no pain or anything. It doesn't hurt. It was just noticeable. Go ahead and bite, bite there. Just put your teeth right together. That tooth engages. So it could be that that top tooth is just pushing that canine. Maybe splitting, oh, splitting that a little bit. I'm a grinder, so yeah, that that yeah. is more likely. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you're all set. I appreciate it. Right. Okay, so I am done at the dentist. My lipstick is all over the place. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next week in the next video.